Okay, so I'm going to get this out of the way, because there's a guy on the forums. Yeah, I'm not going to click refer him to this guy. That's uh, Richard Mazga. Sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong, but he's wanting to know how to swap wheels with the JSGME uh, vehicle modifier and the uh, mod installer. <clears throat> so, I think there's a way you can do it with the mod installer, but the way I do it, I think it's easier that way. And it's just manually. So, whichever vehicle you're going to want to add tires, you're going to have to install the vehicle manually to the game. But, if I'm thinking of doing this, uh, the way I'm thinking about doing it, it might work with JSMG. Let's go to my spin tires folder. Um, when you run JS, uh, GMD, we'll just call it mod installer because I don't want to keep referring it to that. So, when you launch your mod installer, uh, it'll make these mod folders. And I'm not going to go in depth on how this mod installer works, but You'll get the idea once you first use it, and most people that use it already know how it works, so we're going to bypass this. You go into your mods folder, there is in your main spin tires folder area where it would be in media, texture cache, user, all that stuff. Um, you would go into the vehicles folder. So, for instance, if I wanted to add a tire to my F350 mud truck, I would go in there, go to my media. Go to meshes, trucks. I would put the tire in here. The X file and the .xml that uses the material. So, what we'll do, download the, uh, one of the tattoos we'll pack so I can give you an idea. Terrace full game. Most of the, I have a couple of download brutes, swampers. Yeah, he has different sizes right there. Right. Open up the the uh, what do you want to call it? Zip file. Now you'll see a media media here. Uh, what you can do if your mod is path the right, which it should, if it's going to be working with the mod installer. So all you have to do put that. Right there. Okay. Should automatically place everything for you. Uh, I need big tires, so we'll go with the 54s. Okay. Then we'll go back. Uh, no, we don't want textures. Textures we don't need. Classes. Trucks. Go into your truck file if you can find it and not be an idiot like me. <clears throat> My, right here. Okay. So you go into your truck file. Now you can either replace the default wheel, uh, which all you would have to do is to replace default wheels, uh, you would go to your classes wheels, then you would take this name, brute. Bogger 54 wheel or whatever size you want. Just copy. Go into your editor. And paste it over like that. It should work like that with default wheels, but if you're going to add it as a wheel set, Spun has already got a little tutorial on how to do that. Um, you know, let's add it as a default wheel for right now, just so we can get through this easier. <clears throat> I will put, uh, Spun's video in the uh, description box, so you can watch that too if you want to add sets. And your wheel sets would be down. Uh, wheel set, wheel set, wheel set. Right here underneath here, like your uh, bones and stuff. So that like wheel sets, tear tires, and that's where you would put your wheel sets up. Save. Got the 54 inch on there. Okay. 
activate that mod. Clear your cache. That actually looks pretty damn cool. I didn't. <laughs> huh. That looks pretty cool. Well done. That's how I install tires with the, the mod installer. So, uh, my textures are all screwed up. Something's wrong with it. Have to get them fixed. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, Richard, I hope this helps. 